We show up, you know, it's, with all the it's invoices Christmas Eve and, and all the right, everything, and all everything the proof, signed, everything and, from the. Um, oh, I had files. I could just whip the, out the files. The and, and oh, every, yeah. Oh, we had everything. But we, were, we, we were so convinced we were walking out of there with a check for $70,000 right. at the end of this. Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Welcome to the 400th episode Woo-hoo. of Potty Talk. Ooh. What in the we world? We should have like confetti or something coming down. <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> right. I know fireworks. 400th episode. 400. It seems like yesterday, <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes and no. Yes and no, it does. Yes and no. Right. Um, I totally remember the very first one. Um, it was uh, Valentine's Day. It was Valentine's February Day. February 14th. Mm-hmm. Was it 2018? Um, um, yeah, yep. 2018, yeah. Okay. Golly. 100 years ago, at least. So anyway, 400. That's quite an accomplishment. Podcasts, yeah. I mean... All we're doing is talking, right, when we're doing podcasts, but they're not as easy as, as one might think. So it's, you know, really is a matter of, of, of planning and strategizing and, and, you know, knowing the audience, what's going to work, right. what's helpful for them, those type things. Um, so to, to do 400, I would say, and I haven't been on all of them, um, is a huge accomplishment to you, babe. Yeah, so. well, thank you, sweetheart. Mm-hmm. Well, I know you soon got involved behind the scenes because <laughs> <laughs> the first couple, I was doing everything. And, and well, if, if you listen to me before, I, I'm not the most techie guy <laughs> and all that kind of, and so it was painful. Well, okay, um, let me just say, um, because this was, you know, back when we started Million Dollar Plumber, we had this, you know, the we were being asked about, you know, how did you grow a plumbing business and things like that. So we decided to go online and and start, you know, doing re- research and see, okay, is this something, was this online thing? Because we built a brick and mortar business, right. not necessarily, well, not even an online business. Um, but anyway, you decided you wanted to start a podcast first. And um, and you said, I'm going to call it Potty Talk. And I said, that's the stupidest idea <laughs> I've, you've ever had. Yeah. It's just, and he's had a lot of ideas because he's a, he's a visionary person, right? Um, and normally I don't tell him that that's a stupid idea. I normally try to, you know, mull it over and think and, and whatever. But immediately I said, that is the stupidest idea I have ever heard. And he said, okay, well, that's fine, but I'm going to do it. I'm like, well, go ahead. You're, you are totally on your own. I'm not helping. And so I figured it would crash and burn after a few because I knew it would be technical. And you're right. You're not that's not one of your gift part of your gift mix at all at yes. all so <laughs> watching you do the first couple as because he went live he went live on facebook this these weren't recorded these were facebook lives and then kind of watching him try to look at comments and switch between screens and all this oh my gosh <laughs> it was like watching my husband just flail like right in front of me and I, I couldn't take it anymore so after i forget how many episodes i at least came on as the behind the scenes producer it was so like three it was like by the third <laughs> one couldn't take it anymore yeah and it was in fact when it went on i how you know prepared i was i didn't even think about well, how am i going to start mm. So to this day, I say, hey, 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 plumbing pros, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. well, that's what came out Mm -hmm. when, you know, I turned (laughs) things on and hey, 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 plumbing pros. (laughs) So it's just kind of fun how things fall forward. And and so let that, you know, let that be a lesson to you as well. You know, if you look at, we talk with, you know, with our students and, you know, about doing a podcast and Mm -hmm. and those, those kinds of things. And look, it's not going to be perfect. Okay. Well, we're not telling our students to do podcasts. No, what do you mean? Well, our clients. Some of our we do get a personality out there or oh, whatever, you mm-hmm. know, that kind of a thing. For their, or, for their community and right, things like that. Right. right. Yeah. Um, but it's, so, it's not going to be, and even with your plumbing business, and everything you do in the beginning is not going to be perfect. It's not going to be perfect. It's, and that's right. why, you know, you, you lived it. When you say fall forward by golly on potty, with you started potty talk, you totally fell forward. Right. Um, but here we are, 400 episodes later, yep. um, tons of guests. I think we are going to do um, an, an episode relatively soon where we look back on all the different episodes and, yes, and kind of the um what do you call it um renditions that's not the word i want of all the different the styles evolution that of we, the different yeah, set, yeah, right yeah. even even different the, sets my beard styles <laughs> and even <laughs> what do I have people comment on my beard oh my goodness um, your tan. hands well your hands are too clean my hands are too right oh, there's that your teeth are too white um, they, you they, you can they? never be a plumber because your hands are too clean and your teeth are too white we did say that oh. um but yes your your hair your beard um well, when we lived in Indiana and did potty talk, we, we were basically uh, white. <laughs> we were always white. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Now that we're in Florida, it's like we always have a nice little glow right. about us. Well, yep. 
Anyway, so 400 episodes. Congratulations, Four, yes, Babe. See, that's pretty exciting. Thank you, Thank you. for um, some of you that have been with us from the very beginning. Yes. So we, we certainly appreciate it. Encourage some of you guys, um, if you haven't been, you're relatively new to Potty Talk, go back and listen to, oh, I don't know, start at maybe episode 100. And go <laughs> right. forward. It is about 100. It takes Anything. about 100 episodes. <laughs> To, Anything to, before that right. may be a little painful. I understand. Might be painful. <laughs> but it could be fun. Watch the, oh, you know, watch the car don't. crash. You know. no, no, please, please don't. Don't do it. Anyway, 400. You know. So what are we talking about on episode 400? Well, I thought it'd be fun. I just, you know, um, of just sharing. Um, in fact, uh, you know, the, the title, kind of a, a subtitle of this episode is Tales from the Crypt. <laughs> oh, <golly>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I just hear, you know, as I express, you know, all the time, look, if I can do this, you know, build a successful, self-sustaining, very profitable plumbing business, you can too. Mm -hmm. And I mean that without being self, you know, deprecating, Yeah. you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, we didn't come, you know, from money. Well, yeah, we like, like we talked before. Okay. And it's not knowing, right? It's not, right. we didn't know. We, we didn't know how to start and run a plumbing right. business. We didn't know, but we just kept doing it. And so I think that's mostly, again, what you mean is um, if we can do it. If you can do it, anyone can do it because you just, we just, we didn't stop. You just, you just keep going, but life, but life, life happens. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's easy to look at us now. I get, I get, you know, from, I'm sure, you know, we look like here, like the nice comments, we look put together. <laughs> we live in a nice area. We have nice things. We try we not to show it. Yes. We week. get the shower, right. <laughs> you know, all those kinds of things. And so to the, even to the, the bad comments or whatever, you know, you're too slick to be a plumber. You can't be, you're showing, you know, whatever. I don't think you're slick. I don't, we don't show that. Yeah. I'm still, I'm just, I'm just a redneck from, you know, from Indiana. No, what you're not I mean. anymore, but, 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 but you're because slick. you look, because you grow out of, you're right. Mm -hmm. You learn new things or whatever, mm -hmm. but that, but that's our background. Right. But I also want to, so, you know, with our business, we experience the same kinds of, you know, um, traumas, right. You know, <laughs> bad things that happen, mm -hmm. the unfair things that happen, life that happens, bonehead things, bonehead that happen. things that happen. Mm -hmm. Right. So I thought I would, you know, share a couple of those. Oh, I love airing dirty laundry. That's <laughs> right. like my favorite episode. Just, it's, just to keep it real, you know, okay. uh, and the hopes <laughs> is, and really, it, you know, and I know it's your heart too, mm -hmm. that, you know, you're, in your plumbing business, you're experiencing these things. So you've done a bonehead thing or an, an unfair thing has happened to right. you that it's not, you st still can be very successful. Mm -hmm. It's just life. Right. Okay. So I thought get I would. Get up and dust yourself off. And exactly. Get back on the horse. So I, I thought right. I'd share a couple things. Okay. I okay. can't wait to hear what All we're right. going to Okay. So okay. let's go. So, so the if there's a lot of um, edits out of this, it's because <laughs> I'm like, cut, we we're not talking about <laughs> that. <So>. Okay. <laughs> well, let's go with, the, go with the first one here. Right. Okay. What? I gave him fun titles. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So number one, <laughs> I got Grinched. Okay. I got Grinched. Okay. Grinched. That's, that's. As in Number the Grinch one. who stole Christmas. As in the Grinch who stole Christmas. All right. Okay. You remember, and this is where, um, you know, if you've listened for a while, and, and certainly if you're in the academy and you're one of our students or one of our private members, whatever, you know, we talk about, you know, well, there's, there's only, you know, well, the bat, working for a GC. New construction, new, 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 construction new construction is bad. Okay. New construction is bad. I'll just get right to it. New, new construction is bad. You can't, right. you can't make it new construction. You can't go from one truck and, and create wealth by being a new new construction. You cannot. Okay. Um, Unless you have hunt. really, really, really deep pockets. Well, super that's deep why, pockets. I know I'm going to get some comments. And, and, <laughs> and if you if you have been successful, you're not listening to Potty Talk or watching <laughs> that's Potty true. Talk. All right. Because you're already, you're already there. You don't need, you know, you're not even around this. Okay. But I can tell you, you you're not. Okay. Um, or, or you can't. The vast, could vast be, majority. Because it's set up, it's set up against you. Right. Okay. Again, we're, we're saying someone that's starting plumber, you leave a company, you go you start out on right. your own, and then you just, you start doing new construction work. Um, it is dang near impossible to succeed from that. So. Right. We, we have families, we have, we have in the academy where it's their second and third generation, new construction. And all they've done is handed, you know, grandpa handed to dad, Dan, they handed to his son, mm -hmm. you know, and it, it's just a job, just handed the job down. Correct. Okay. Yep. Nothing, but we haven't created any kind of wealth. Mm -hmm. Okay. No and so it's just not there. Well, mm -hmm. we got our first taste of it. Now we'll okay, all yes. start. Yes. I, I'll go this far. Not, you know, I say, you know, in extremes oh, yes, just to do. get the point across. That's okay. So, true. Mm -hmm. so, you know, when I say no, is you can't do it with the other, and it may be, you know, point, you know, the, the COVID point, point zero 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 one. <laughs> Golly. It's infected out there of whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. That's how many make it, you know, in, in new construction. Right. All right. Okay. Um, but we, we all start out that way because it's attractive. We think we got, we got jerk, we got work, we got right. jobs. Yes. Okay. Yep. By so the way, work jewelry. and jobs don't equate to money. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So having a few different houses or something where you're right. doing um, general contractor, new construction type work. So we did that too. And when we started out, then this is when we thought, 
um, that we were in the money because we got with uh, a couple, um, well, one, the main one first. They, in Indy, they, you know, they tore down a part of town and were redeveloping. Downtown Indianapolis, yeah. right. They were going to revitalize, revitalize. the section. So old, the, old section of Indianapolis. It was run down, old houses. Yeah. Right. Make it kind of a, a yuppie. Yuppie, is that still a word? Yeah. More, um, you know, professional. professional yeah. Attract, right. Attract professionals. You know, so it was kind of a fallen part of town. It was a close town, but they were, yeah. Right. And it's now, but, and so, you know, there was like, you know, 100, 200 homes. I mean, it was a big area. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it was really like a whole What's new. What was it called? Yeah. Anyways, but it's Fall Creek something. Yeah, but we got we got the contract mm-hmm. with one of the, with one of the builders. Cardinal. Yes. Was the and name. And we thought we were th- this. Wow. <laughs> what, wow. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> this is our most, You know, <laughs> the heavens have smiled upon us. We're going to charge at least eighty five dollars an <laughs> right. hour. Of course, we weren't charging right that <laughs> going right. into it that, but. We thought just even having the work, mm-hmm. you know, it was, it was work. Ongoing forever. work. Ongoing oh, yes. work forever. Yeah, and that yeah. would give us time to build other stuff, you know, and that kind of mm-hmm. things. Okay. So we get in and literally within the first couple, couple of months, we're now in the thing of where we're behind, they're behind paying us. But I got now that quickly, I got supply houses calling, yep. you know. Because we did not have deep pockets when right. we started. That's the thing. We mm-hmm. don't, you don't have pockets mm-hmm. when you start. But no pockets. Okay. There are no pockets at all. And again, I'll say this way, it's designed to use you as the bank. That's why yep. they, they use you mm-hmm. as the sucker. Make you charge sucker. hardly right. anything next to and nothing. And so we're into this, and, but then they kept adding a house. So we get this house. There's always the promises, right? But I'll give you, I'm going to give you that other block. We got the other block, so I'm going to give you that. Right. Mm-hmm. But then so, there's also the change orders and that they won't sign and need you to come back, need you to come back. Oh, no, don't come here because the electrician's not done. Oh, wait, nope, you had to, yeah, there's right. all that. So about, you know, seven, eight months, nine months of that. Was it that um, long? Even that long, but know. we finally were out of, I mean, I finally had to stop because I wasn't getting, they always give you just, they'll give you a couple thousand dollars. So what, playing, you know, just playing that game, right. okay? <laughs> um, and, but we were now, you know, $70,000, behind the supply, supply house, house, whatever. Oh, so this episode's going to give me a stomach ache. So we wound up suing mm-hmm. for just the $70,000, not right. suing for what they owed, the whole everything, <laughs> just the money that I owed the supply house, mm-hmm. just the money <laughs> I owed the supply house. So stupid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all, that's how we, we start out. I mean, okay. All right. Mm-hmm. And they won, they, they, they countersued, they countersued for a million dollars. They countersued us for $1 million. One million dollars. The reason? No, no reason. No reason. You don't need any reason. You don't. You, just, you literally don't. You don't. Because the contract that we signed with them has a little thing in there about arbitration or mediation or mediation. Yeah. Right. Um, and so they they decided to sue us for one million dollars, even though we we had all the permits, we had everything signed off. I mean, everything was fine. I even had the the city rep that was over this pro- had, a, had signed off on us and our name and. and you know, saying that we did everything right. Mm-hmm. We, we, there, there was no reason to sue us. There was no right. reason, no reason not to pay us. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like we haven't, you know, we didn't pass any. We had the inspectors too. And you guys know how inspectors can be tough. <laughs> we had the inspectors with us. We had everything on our side. Mm-hmm. And I hired a top-notch um, attorney. Attorney. Oh, and that was a gift from God because we, in our, um, at church, we were in a small group or a Sunday school class right. with one of the attorneys at this this, um, large law, large law. I'll firm. say I'll say who they are because yeah. they wound up giving us a gift. Ice Miller, Ice Miller, mm-hmm. um, which was in in construction and all that. They were top notch. I mean, right. it was a big, big law firm. You know, high so, rise. You yeah. know, two floor, three floors, or whatever of this high rise. Yeah, so they they got um, that which our also contact. meant top dollar. Yes. So we, we we racked up another right um, before we even got to. You know, it was like, like six, 16 grand or something like that, which recall. happened pretty quick. And they were being fair. I mean, they were being know, more than fair, more than generous. I mean, it's yes. because of our contact with one of their partners Correct. You know, with the church we went to. Um, so we were, we were getting some breaks there. Anyways, <laughs> we wind up getting, you know, I said I got grinched. This mediation wound up being on Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve morning. Can you believe it? Christmas Eve morning, we have to go down to an attorney's office because this is, again, it's arbitration. So you're not going in front of a judge. Mediation. None of the, mediation. Um, you're not going in front of a judge. You're going to an attorney's office. And then you've got this mediator um, who's going to go um, back and forth between two different rooms. We're in one room with our attorney. And then the, the builder, Cardinal. Um, is in another room with their attorney. Right. And this, this mediator is going to go back and forth, right, to see now, you know how we can compromise. Now, we didn't realize there was going to oh, be a compromise. No. We, we were there. Not. We were talking about the 70 grand. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. We were, we, and 
And so, you know, we show up, you know, it's, with all the it's invoices Christmas Eve and, and all the, right, everything, all everything the proof, signed everything from the, um, oh, I had files and I could just whip the, out the, the files. And, and oh, yeah. Oh, we had everything. We were, we, we were so convinced we were walking out of there with a check for $70,000 right. at the end of this. Okay. Christmas isn't going to be awful because we're at least going to be able to pay off our supply house right. bills. That's what we thought. Exactly. <laughs> and we thought that the law was all about and that the attorneys right. were all about mm -hmm. that as well. Correct. About of, well, here, you owe this because we see here's this and this and the city said this. And, here, and you signed and this all of this. And this and and signed, and right. All that. <laughs> none of the, We didn't even get none of the, the Those questions never even came into play. Nope. They didn't first, want to see any of the paperwork. First question was asked. Mm. Um, came in. This is when I mean I still I can I, yeah I can feel it go down my spine. The realization, you know, like in the movies, you know, when they have a scene where it's like down the hall and the hall like, like lengthens and you go back. It's like, oh, <laughs> that's exactly what happened. With that like I knew I wasn't you know you know I wasn't in Kansas any longer. Okay, because um, I came in and asked. It said, okay, you're asking for seventy thousand. Um, they're asking for a million and that's when, it, what, what, what's Wait, a million? Where that, what? what? That came out. Of, we had no idea at, at that point that the million wasn't, we, we, we didn't know at, at that point. Mm. Right. No, we did. That's when we found out. And that's when we found out right. that they're suing us for, for a million. million. Right. And it's like, what, a million, what? <laughs> well, they're suing you for a million. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, what, what are you willing to come down? Right. And we're they're like, like, what, what, <laughs> what, what? Okay. I don't want to talk about this anymore. So, this makes so, my stomach hurt. Like they, we came down to like 65 and they came down to like 800,000. Right. And that, a, yes. And then that's how it went. That's how it went. There was no discussion of right, wrong, wrong. law, um, evidence. Signed, right. What we had. Nothing. Worth, nothing. No, not, we are not. Okay. You're an exaggerator. I am not. Nothing. There was no, no discussion. And I kept saying and bringing out paperwork. Yes, but they signed. Here's when we did the work here. Here's where it was approved. Oh, he would say, it doesn't matter. What are you willing to come down? And that's how those GC contracts are, are set up. Yes. Purposefully just for that. And we and this contractor ended up um, doing this to other um, contractors Which is what well, they do. Which is what they do. Right. And then um, they filed bankruptcy. I, don't, I can't remember, maybe a year later or something. They filed bankruptcy because they owed so many um, plumbers, electricians, all of that. Um, they filed bankruptcy and... The very next day, they were, started another company and was doing the same work on this in the same project, just under a different name. And you say, well, it's not how it is in my city. Bull yes, crap. It is. yes, it, it is. is. Right. <laughs> Probably even more so in your city. Yes. Okay. It's just, it's, it's how it's, how it's designed. Mm -hmm. That's why yes. you can't, that's why it was so hard mm -hmm. against, you yep. know, of, of getting, of getting you out of working for the GCs. Yes. Okay. So that, that was a, a, a huge lesson hard, hard for from, you out. yes, um, that was a huge lesson from the very beginning of our plumbing business. And we were just a few months old. Right. That was that was the first type of work that we had done, and it was for this this builder. So we came out of this. We did all this work. I owed seventy thousand plus to the supply houses. I mean, this is within my first year mm -hmm. of doing this. I mean, um, and we got down to where they owed. I almost I could laugh saying this thirteen fifty one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars. All right, that's what we were going to get. So we got there. They dropped the suit. I mean, no, 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 a million. Yeah, we didn't have to own a million anymore. A million. <laughs> it's our lucky day. But I owed, uh, or they paid $1,350. So they got all that plumbing work, all that done. And that's why they do it. That's how mm -hmm. it works. And they, they had their little dump. Well, I remember meeting their attorney, you know, their attorney. You know, they got, there are bad, you know, attorneys out there, just like they're bad plumbers or bad whatever. Mm -hmm. But they're not all bad, right? They're not right. all bad. But, you know, so they have someone who's going to, you know, play that game with them like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. At a low. And so even whatever, they, even if they paid their attorney, you know, 15 grand, mm -hmm. they still got all this, all this work done for 15, 16 grand, yep. you know. As you know, making the phone ring and often is vital to your home service business. That's why I'm a fan of Search Kings. Search Kings is a Google premier partner and have helped my clients generate leads on Google local services and Google ads. If you need your phone to ring, use Search Kings and tell them Richard sent you and you need the Million Dollar Plumber VIP treatment. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Search Kings and get on track to making your phone ring today. And if I, I was already $70,000 in debt, so what was it? I mean, it was up into the hundred. That's why we thought we were in the money. I mean, right. we're going to be yeah. whatever. Okay. Yeah. Um, and we owed the um, attorney. The attorney was like sixteen, seventeen thousand, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. But they gave us a Christmas gift. Yes, year, and, and they, they waived it. They waived it. Yes, right. Um, I, I don't remember when the our friend who was the partner called us. I don't think it was on Christmas. Maybe it was 
the week we after got, or something yeah. who said, I've taken care of it. Um, we're, we're waving it. You guys really did get screwed. And yeah, we're just, we're going to give you this gift. So. And that, I mean, I remember just being in tears about that because I'm like, how, okay, we know the supply houses. We know right. this, you know, attorney who's also a, a friend, right? And we're like, how in the world? And yeah, he said, yeah, we're, we're going to waive it also. That was like a thank you, Jesus moment for sure. Right. So all that to say, yes, we did get Grinch. And that was a lesson, a hard lesson from the beginning. But we did not give up. We, we did keep going. Right. And Even so, though it, it was tough, guys. It was tough. And, and paying it back, it took us a few years to pay back the supply houses. And I'm sure they worked with us as far as, yeah, you know, giving us, you know, some sort of, I don't remember, but, but I receiving the call every other week, yeah. you know, because they're saying, yeah, you're going to pay and being right. on you and you're having that is just there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we talk to guys that are dealing with that and you just, you just, you just got to keep showing up to the round. Mm -hmm. You just got to keep moving. You right. just got to keep going bit by bit. And then years later, here, here we are. Right. You know? So lesson in this, right. okay. I want a lesson from everyone, right. not just to Whatever. Yeah. Lesson is, guys, again, if you're starting um, your plumbing business and you don't have deep pockets where you can foot the bill for the, the labor, for the, the supply house, for all of that, if you don't have deep pockets, don't start out doing GC work, new construction. You're going to get taken. Because also, we chased our money. I mean, obviously, we chased our money constantly. They Even when they, they did pay us, the, the little bits and pieces here and there, it was us chasing them. Richard having to go there, um, stand at the truck, make the guy write us you know, some sort of check. Um, and that that's just not the way to to start your plumbing business. And I still, and we still continue to work for a couple of GCs after that because you're, you know, I didn't know yet. I didn't bring someone. I mean, we, we were thinking this is what, we, you know, I just happened to be a bad experience. Right. We're thinking still this is the way to go. So we're still working for a couple of GCs. Now it didn't, wasn't that bad, but we still were chasing the money. Always never chasing. made money. Mm -hmm. Just got further behind. Because they would never pay what, right. what we needed to charge. Right. Which we didn't know at the time. Right. We weren't, weren't doing charge. that. But then they, you mentioned where there's always the add-ons, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Yes. And, you that know, they never wanted to sign any any work orders right. or that you know, the uh, homeowners now moved into the house and they want this different or they want that different. Blah, blah, blah. Just constant. Guys, that is, that is not the way to have a business. Unless, again, you have really deep pockets. You can have you know a staff of, of plumbers on that can deal with those kinds of issues. But 99% of the time, that is not the case. You don't have the deep pockets to be able to foot the bill for new construction to behave so, like a bank so if you right. if you're in the plumbing business guys get into residential service just as soon as possible now you grow that sucker really big and you do have a lot of cash and you're like man I'd, I'd like to give it a try with with new construction then you've got the pockets for it go ahead right maybe you get a relationship with a good relationship with a gc or something then by all means but you have the money to risk yeah. in the beginning you don't you don't and that and that's how that's how we looked at it too when we did bring it back on and we never did um, we, we, we kept up with commercial, we did commercial, a light, few light, 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 commercial yeah, that kind of stuff. Very light. But we looked at that as a training ground mm -hmm. for our guys mm -hmm. and also just to kind of give some work, you know, during the, the, the seasonal up and mm -hmm. down. But if there's any, you know, all the service calls were, you know, were triaged, um, they were priority. Residential always. service. Absolutely. Always, yep. no matter what it was, priority. it was way more important in the commercial job and certainly way more important than showing up, you know, and, you know, on a, can it, on a site somewhere. Yeah. Um, we had a Success Academy open coaching class the other day, and someone who's new in the academy asked the question, how do I move from new construction to residential? That was a struggle. I mean, he, he understood the concept of why to do that, but he's like, how do, I, how do I do that? And I think, you know, the best advice we could give him was that, you know, get out there on Google My Business, Google lo local service ads, things like that, word of mouth. But anytime... Um, a residential service call comes in for whatever, leaking toilet, water heater, clog, blah, blah, blah. You leave the job site of whatever new construction job you're on. You leave it. You pack it and you go and you go to the residential service because they are going to pay you your rate, your honest hourly rate, and they're going to pay you today. Every single time. And it doesn't matter if the GC's all his hair's in, on, on fire and can't believe you're leaving, blah, 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 wow. blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. Every single time. And, and say you, you get that job done and then you get back to the, the new, the new um, or the remodel or whatever it is, the new construction. And then 10 minutes later, you get another phone call for some other residential service for a you know, leak from a ceiling. Bye-bye, new construction. Bye. I'm going to go take care of this other That's that that's how you do it. That's, that's how you way. you break the the habit now um, of of getting out of the the GC work. Right. So anyway. Right. All right. So, so do it. Okay. All right. Well, wow, this might be a longer <laughs> episode because and I again I want to make sure that these aren't. We turn them into lessons. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So there 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 was a lesson where just uh, that was unfair mm -hmm. and it's just the reality. Right. Okay. But you just gotta gotta deal with it mm -hmm. and work, work through it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and it happens. Yep. Okay.
Okay. All right. All right. All right. What other story next, you got for us? Next, uh, entitled mm-hmm. "Money in the Bank." <laughs> This money, is such a good, money good in the humbling bank. Humbling story. Okay, this is a bonehead story. <laughs> what all of these are humbling yeah, stories. Right. So Call we me. have, it was our first, my first guy, my first, first guy, first so, hire, your yeah, first hire. Mm-hmm. So you're wanting to impress them, mm-hmm. you know. And I'm, I'm a one truck Chuck, mm-hmm. my first guy. You know, I'm still in the truck. We are growing now. We got a staff. We're, we're, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to give them the good, you know, and be up and all that. And of course, I'm actually doing the actual training, mm-hmm. you know. And so we take him out to the very first job. And it happened to be a good job, a nice home. It wasn't a dump home. You know, mm-hmm. it, was, it happened to be a nice home. But it was a, um, I remember it <laughs> replacing um, a, a one-inch main valve, okay. main stop inside the house. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was an old one, an old gate or whatever. It wasn't mm-hmm. working. And it's a nice house, too. Mm-hmm. I remember that. It was a crappy old like, gate valve or something. Um, and so installing a, you know, nice, he wanted a nice ball valve. Okay. okay. Um, and one inch. Okay. And so I turned the water off and I'm, you know, I'm talking with my new guy and showing him, you know, you know, how we talk with the customer and putting our footies on. I mean, I had the whole, pro- you know, I, even then I had the process down mm-hmm. and, uh, going, you know, and, uh, you know, how, how do we do the job? How do we prep for the job? All that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And, you know, of course I'm talking about how we always collect, you know, right then. Mm-hmm. And I, so that's what the money, I, so I had the phrase money in the bank, money in the bank. Mm-hmm. So I, I get done with this stop. Okay. And, uh. You know, had, had it all soldered in and that, you know, that kind of a thing. And um, I had him t- go out to the, the, main, the street valve and, you know, turn it on. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so he comes running back in, you know, which is a good sign. He ran. Mm-hmm. He, he was a quick kind of, I mean, so that was a good sign with a, a new guy, by the way. He didn't, he didn't just kind of dawdle in. <laughs> all right. He was like, he was going. Okay. So we get there and it's all up and I'm, you know, I'm shining it down with my rag. You know, I always carried a rag in my pocket and clean it down. And I said, money in the bank. Mm-hmm. And at that point... The, the valve blew, blew off the, <laughs> off the solder, a solder joint, a one inch, one inch pipe, full force. <laughs> water <laughs> water everywhere. everywhere. Water is going everywhere, <laughs> everywhere, you know. Money so in I, the bank. And I go running out. I go running out to, you know, to the main valve, to the stop it, whatever, and come back. And, you know, this utility room is just dry walls. Oh. Everything is just drenched. And, uh, you know, it's, it was embarrassing money in the bank, He's like, but he stayed, <laughs> he didn't quit. In fact, he happened to be my longest. Yeah. That's, that's very rare. He was still with Attaboy. When we sold. When we sold. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's true. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. Most loyal, dedicated, hardest worker. Yep. For sure. Ever. So. In fact, yeah. In <laughs> fact, one of the things the guys would only be careful talking because they knew that he would talk. He, he was, he was loyal. Um, mm-hmm. you know, it was good, which is, which is rare. Very, so I always very made, rare. Very so rare. always made sure to take care yes. of them. Money but in the bank. Okay. What's the he lesson out of this? He wasn't the best plumber. Wasn't no, the best, he, was, he wasn't no, the best plumber. No. And he would say that. But he worked the system mm-hmm. and did, you know, it was yep. always, you know, no drama, always mm-hmm. there on time, that kind yep. of thing. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, it's just a thing of just, you know, that was a bonehead thing, right? We're going to do bonehead things in our, in our businesses. Mm-hmm. Um, whether we do it ourselves or our guys do it, mm-hmm. you know? That obviously was embarrassing, you know, and I had to tell the customer there was damage, you know, had to pay for that, it hurt, you know, financially. Um, I wanted to paint out my pocket. By the way, don't, you know, you have insurance, you got to have insurance. Don't turn things into insurance. Um, yeah, unless it's of, a, a pretty heavy, you know, like, you know, heavy duty. tens of thousands, you know, yeah. that, that kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. Um, because insurance is again, legalized theft. As soon as, as soon as you turn something in, they're going to jack you up like, your rates or even or drop or, you. Or drop you. Yep. All right. We learned that lesson. We learned as it. Well. We finally turned one in. We'd been paying them for like eight years or something mm-hmm. like that. Turned one in mm-hmm. and they dropped us. They dropped us. All, the, all those, right. Yep. Never. And it, the one we turned in was, it was, again, I've talked about this before. Even time, you know, the damage things that you always seem to be between eight and $12,000, mm-hmm. whatever. So it wasn't like it was 50 grand or whatever. Yeah, I don't remember. Right. That. It was, it was I just remember the first one we turned in, we got dropped. We got I dropped. I remember that. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So. Yes. Um, yeah. Just, it, it, you know, bonehead things are going to happen. Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't, don't let it now ruin your, your life and your business <laughs> or, I mean, it's just, right. it's, it's, it's a daily, just keep moving. Keep moving forward. Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> Sorry. That one's always. That one I use because I, I have others. You, you've been around, you know, you've been around for years or whatever. There's others with the other guys. Mm-hmm. That was, that was mine. Yeah. Cause, well, cause yeah. again, it was our very first employee. It was very first, very first right. employee. And you're trying to. I mean, right after the line, money in the bank. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Well, and Sue, right. um, we I don't remember how long we'd been in business, maybe a year-ish or so. If we'd come out, it was that next 
the May after the, the May after the Grinch. Christmas thing. Yes, yeah. you're right. You're right. So we'd been business maybe a year and a few months then. Right. Um, but what was my point on that? Of you starting the business. I mean, we were relatively new in the business. Obviously, relatively new. We could have, you know, through a couple of these things, through the Grinch thing, and then through this. Oh no, that was my point. It's like, okay, finally, we've got it. We've got an employee on. We've got you know someone else that we can have in the truck and make more money. And so we felt, all right, here we go. It's like. Ah, getting all excited and then wah, 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 right? right. Just and because it was the very first job, but I mean, obviously, it didn't continue badly like that. The employee stayed the whole time, but you're going to have those little setbacks. You just are. There are going to be little right. setbacks and they're going to be big setbacks. And it's and it's just a matter of um, are you going to stick with it? Are you going to stay with it? Um, I remember one point, um, and I don't remember exactly what was happening, but we literally had to sit down. We were, it was mm. a struggle. Our business, we, we were struggling, really struggling. We had to sit, um, and I, I said, what we're going to do is write pros and cons of why to keep um, running out of white plumbing. Why keep at it until, instead of just closing the doors? Because we were so frustrated with, with a number of things. And this was maybe four or five years into the business. Because um, it, was, it was tough. We didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> we just did not know what we were doing in the <laughs> beginning. Um, and we made our pros and cons. And the cons list was way longer, way longer. So of why, you know, to get rid of the business. It was way longer. But the pros, even though there were fewer of those, they meant more, right? They, they were weighted heavier. Um, so yeah, that that's, sometimes you got to do that. You really have to sit and look, okay, why do I have this plumbing business? What's the reason that I'm going to keep, like you always say, babe, getting up off the canvas. What, what's the true reason? Um, cause if you don't know that you're, you will be more than likely, um, to throw in the towel. Right. And it can't be, it's not plumbing. It's I, not I plumbing you. and it's not money. Right. It's, it's not it's money. Not. It's not to make more money. Um, you know, air quotes, make more money. That's right. not the reason to keep your plumbing business. Yes. You want it to make money. Um, but it, that, that can't be the, the main reason. Right. So, anyway, money in the bank. Right. Money in the bank. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Hey, uh-huh. you're not going to miss the, the final one I saved on my most humbling moments. I'm going to share with you. All right? <laughs> all right. But first, I got something for you for being here. Hey, Plumbing Pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. I gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plumb like a champion. All right, we're back. Welcome, everybody. Back to Potty Talk. Our 400th episode. 400th episode. Um, so this was a great time. Give us a 400th um, anniversary gift um, of liking us, giving us a five-star review out on whatever platform you happen to be um, watching or listening to. We'd really appreciate it. Um, share all that, all those I things. Share the love. Share the love. And then I'm not going to go too deep in the, post, the my soapbox if you watched or listened to the last podcast. Um, I want us, this audience to start being the nicest people in their community. Of where you look at each other, you smile at each other, you hold the door for each other as you're going through, you know, some business establishment. Um, when you're driving, you let people, you know, let people in, you wave at people, let, let you in, engage with people walking down the street, smile, say hello. Let's let's let this audience be the game changers out there that starts um having us be friendly towards one another again. So there you go. Which I believe you are. You know, I love hearing, we hear from, from our vendors that, that support uh, the Success Academy. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and so those in the Success Academy, why we, one of the things we introduce in the Success Academy are the, we call them power tools, so different things um, that resources. Your, bu- resources your business needs, mm-hmm. all right, to, to be able to operate uh, self-sufficiently. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I love hearing our vendors say how they love Success Academy our, members. Our Success Academy members, how they're the nicest and most professional. Mm-hmm. Um, Easy to compare, work with. Right. Mm-hmm. Love that. So thank so, you. Yes. Thank you, guys. All right. All right. So we are talking about terrifying tales of the worst plumbing business ordeals. So I, I thought I would share, and because I always just like to keep it real. Because, mm-hmm. guys, we've all been, you know, and part, you know, and it just... Um, I just want to keep it real. All right. And so this is this is an embarrassing moment okay, you know, let's for hear me, it. but I... But I it's, and it's probably even, even with all the money, um, like the money things that, you know, the supply house is calling and on this and having to deal with that, or even I've never was embarrassed about that. I mean, it's mm-hmm. uncomfortable and sure. maybe it's like, I want to pay my bills and that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. 
but never just embarrassed where I wanted to crawl underneath a rock. <laughs> this is a time I wanted to crawl underneath a rock. Okay. So this is, I right. call it um, a slice of humble pie. Okay. Okay. Now, you guys remember, if you guys were born before the, uh, the Great Recession, 2008. <laughs> the Great Recession. <laughs> <laughs> used to be the Great Depression of right. the 1920s by right. now. <laughs> it's the Great Recession. Well, during that time when the housing market burst, I yes. mean, in 08 um, to 09, 10, um, you know, a lot of businesses went, went out of business. We had a lot of plumbing businesses go out of business. Right. A lot of other home service businesses go out. We had our, the oldest plumbing company in Indy mm-hmm. went out of business. It was like 200, it was like the original plumbing and they were <laughs> They, they mm-hmm. came across on the Mayflower plumbers and then came out to Indy. I mean, it was that, it was that we old. never exaggerate. I know. It was, um, they, they went out of business, okay? Um, so it, it was a rough time. Now, for us during this time, um, you know, we, we, fortunately, we were service, but there was a period of time when we went screaming past my worst case scenarios. Well, when you say that, um, as far as um, projections are, we're, right. okay, we, we see the economy's doing poorly things are happening and so we're as you're in your business and you're, you're trying to project what's what's coming in the future right. financially um so yeah it it got so bad that we we couldn't have projected how bad the economy was going to get right right so, so it went beyond what we even thought you know it was a right. scary time mm-hmm. but during this time if you remember and i won't go into details but this was tea party time mm-hmm. uh, laura and i were uh, one of the original founders of the Tea Party movement brought it to Indianapolis. Not the Boston Indiana. Tea Party, not as the in the 1700s. We were not that old, okay? <laughs> but we found ourselves getting, we got involved in politics. We're not, mm-hmm. but we found- We're not we're politically, mo- or no, we're not- We, we just happened to be yeah, okay. there, and uh, we, we were at the first Tea Party in Chica- Chicago. It was mm-hmm. on the new, you know, we were the, actually the first ones there. First one, the, we all, yes. I mean, all mm-hmm. that, so we just kind of- When we hosted- um, the Indianapolis Tea Party had anywhere between twelve and 15,000 people attend that. So right. we, obviously we have conservative um, values and conservative um, political views. So that's, that was the Tea Party, right. right? And so from there... Well, I wound up being, I wound up running for Senate, United States Senate. Right, which is crazy. Okay, I want to stop right. there because I know some people have commented on, you know, some of our stuff because they... they start doing research okay who is this guy and they find out he ran for united states senate and did not win obviously and so it's like well he's a failed um po- politician no he's not he's not a politician never has been a politician it was something um and everybody that watches hopefully you know we're we are christians and so we really did feel that it was something that god was leading us to do we didn't we didn't know why it didn't make any sense at all we had no background we had no money really and you, and you also we learned later you don't run on your own money that's a whole other story, but this was something completely out of our um, the realm of what we even thought. Well, we got kind of and pulled into it. I mean, yes. it was just with everybody well, and everything the, was crazy the, in the that movement, time. and they yes. were looking for grassroots candidates. Yes. And so I ran a you know, Republican ticket, mm-hmm. um, which I could tell. And, and it's where now you know I can see what's happening now. I totally believe. I mean, it's not conspiracy. I know I know it's a union party. It's all one party. Okay, yeah, I, right. I don't want to go into any details, <laughs> right. but it's all one party. Right. So there's it's all. A- and so there was a primary in Indiana. And there were five that were running for United States Senate. Right. Um, and Richard did come in last. We'll just say that. But I will say we, he got like 25,000 votes, which is a lot of votes, right, for someone that is a complete, complete no name um, in, in the state of Indiana. Oh. Um, other than, you know, our little community. But we were church. out there, but we got to see how the media behaved and ignored even the positive media you think would be because they're not for, like like right. we see, whether you like like Trump or not, like Trump, you've seen what's happening. Trump's mm-hmm. not part of the establishment. Right. And so the establishment, which is the media and Republicans, don't like him. Right. So you saw what happened. Right. Well, I was the same. I was a little guy. You yeah. Know, I got called in. I called to the principal's office. I got called <laughs> in to the head of the Republican Party like every right. other week. For, in, in, for, for Indiana. Right. Indiana. Yeah, because <laughs> like so. yeah, we were but, just this a neophytes, grassroots, whatever. Right. We, didn't, we didn't know what we were doing. But again, we really felt called. Um, so yeah, it was a very, very hard year because it was a year being on the campaign, going all over the state of Indiana, all those things. Right. Um, met a lot of great people. A lot of great people love yeah. love the people of Indiana. However, we lost. We praise God when it was over. We're like God, and even. Oh. But I think that'll be probably the second question I ask God when I get to heaven. Why? Why, Why did we that? go through this? Did we totally hear wrong, or did we hear right? And there was a purpose. So anyway, other than I love, I I know what's happening today. We both know what's happening today. Our eyes have been opened. Eyes are We know right. what really what's going but I, on. See, sometimes I'd rather be in Matrix and taking the I blue know, pill. I know. I wish I would have taken the blue pill yeah. at times. All right. It'd be nice to. Yes. Yeah, so anyway. Anyways. So, uh, so my name was known. I, yes. So I did have people. In fact, when I did speak, and I had to sound, I had more people who would be at my booth. Mm-hmm. The media never covered that. Mm-hmm. Where the Republican, the regular ones would be, mm-hmm. there'd be nobody over there. 
so the people, it goes to show, you know, people were interested. And I would right. just speak, I was just one of the people just speaking regular stuff. <laughs> you just spoke. And I spoke whatever was on my mind. Oh, okay, and that turned you know? into some <laughs> things sometimes. I just said it straight. I mean, I, I was Trump Rachel Maddow. Trump. Rachel Maddow oh. had clips of you. For yeah, sure. So right. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, so and I'm all sure that- I'm on the FBI's list. You know, <laughs> we're, we know we are. Anyway, so it came out of the economy is doing really badly. The plumbing right. business is really st- struggling. You're running for for office and the bus- during the same time. And the business is struggling, too. Totally struggling. So I'm traveling literally every day. I'm speaking somewhere in Indiana. Mm-hmm. OK. And Indiana is kind of a big state. Right. And all the different, <laughs> you know, different places. Mm-hmm. Right. And um and then the business is you know, struggling, even though I had a G, you know, we had someone there, right. but it was a tough, you know, Your eyes were off the ball. Right, the eyes ball. were off the ball. Totally. So we get back finally, you know, I can remember we were so glad we didn't win the primary. I mean, really, we were glad. I mean, we were done even, even before oh. the primary. You know, so I'm always tired. Yeah. You could see it. And I didn't go, I, I could go in and yeah, tell you, you yeah, could see, you could see the setup, the mm-hmm. behind the scenes, they're picking who wins. Okay. We're moving okay, all right. from this part. <laughs> and so it's like, man, why do I still continue on here? Um, Anyways, we get back um, to the business, and it's during this time where I had to cut. Yeah, we had so to cut. we literally cut the we business. Had, we had to evaluate and really, right. yeah, go through, and we, yeah, we cut. We cut people, um, and you ended yeah. up back in the truck. And in back, you know, in the back of in the right. truck. <clears throat> so um, even with the, with the other guys, and mm-hmm. that showed, okay, well, we're all in this, and the guys we did have, everybody, was, okay, that, excuse me, the attitudes were good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm back in the truck. We're in this together and we're going. And I, I did cherry pick the first job. Okay. <laughs> Cause it had been some while since I turned a wrench. Mm-hmm. And so I, I took a water heater install, which I love that made me feel if I was going to do something, I always, I always loved water heaters. <laughs> I just love, you know, setting them up and getting, I mean, it's just fun. fun it's for, I liked them cause they were more money and they were more <laughs> money, but there was a fun job. Okay. So, so I picked this water heater. All right. And so it's my first day back, mm-hmm. first job. Mm-hmm. And I go to this house and it's a nice, nice house or whatever. Mm-hmm. I knock on the door and open it up, and this guy gets this look in his face. Very kind of surprised certain, look very, on his like face. A surprised look, and he goes, you're Richard Bainey. And I said, yes, I am. He goes, I voted for you. <laughs> 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 so there I am in my plumbing uniform, you know, <laughs> just ran for United States Senate. Uh-huh. You know, <laughs> not dog catcher of not, 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 Hamilton County, right? Or something. Yeah, not dog, right? Or something, something <laughs> like that. You know, and was had been on the news. I've been on Glenn Beck. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and, and it's all, and so it's, it, it, you know, you're up here, <laughs> and not the plumbing's down here. No. But even just to be the business owner for guys, you got to do what you got to do. Yep. And so it was already humbling enough mm. to get back in the truck. Mm. I mean, I hadn't been in truck for you know a couple, a couple of few years, years. Yeah. right? Okay, and your guys, and I had to cut guys, and so it's that whole, that, you know, it's just, it's uncomfortable, right? And it's mm-hmm. just very humbling, and I'm back in the truck, <laughs> even going from owner, now back in the truck. Mm-hmm. And in my first job, is, you know, I voted for you, and he was one of those customers who spent the whole time <laughs> over my shoulder, I'm doing this water heater, talking politics, and, talk water, politics. Talk, and all that. And, and then the missus gets home, and, and uh, then and, what happens? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, Sorry, baby. Uh, you forgot that part. Right. <laughs> Mrs. come home and I hear, you know, and the door opens and he all of a sudden he leaves me and goes back and I can hear him say, you're not going to believe who's here. It's Richard Bainey. <laughs> Whatever. And she goes, what? Wait, what? Why is Richard Bainey Why is Richard here? Ba- right. <laughs> <laughs> so it brings his He's lovely He's fixing our water heater. <laughs> <laughs> Golly. Oh, I, I just uh, wanted to, inside I was, and I admit, inside I was crying. It was just, you know, very humbling. <laughs> um, but you do what you got to do. Yes. Okay. And it's mm-hmm. life. Okay. <laughs> you know, we, what, whatever it is, we, you know, we're doing in life. Yeah. I, I done this other thing, which was, was humbling mm-hmm. and also very it scared. Quite frankly, it scared me because it, it's where I grew, grew up. I realized really what America is about mm-hmm. um, politically, what's going on. Mm-hmm. And so it was, it's pretty ugly. So it's, it's really scared me. Mm-hmm. And then my business is in trouble. Right. I'm back in the truck, which is Uncom- makes me feel mm-hmm. humbled, mm-hmm. you know, because I was out of the truck, right? You know, speaking on stages and right. all things and mm-hmm. all that, you know. <laughs> and then the very first one, I had to, someone that was actually followed me and voted and for voted you. for me. One of those twenty five thousand. And now you're plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <that's> <laughs> yes, and we had again three young kids at the time, right? High yeah. school and and um, junior high and elementary, right? So, mm-hmm. yeah, it was it was an interesting interesting time but we still didn't give up you don't give up we still didn't give up we could have that could have been something that was so humbling for you but not i mean 
it was go back to our pros and cons list, right? Our right. why we knew we knew what our why was. Well, it's just, it's just part of the story. Mm -hmm. You know, it's part of your story and going through these things. And as I, you know, and we see it today. We now have um, Success Academy members who've gone through the, the academy and they've gone from being one truck to now multi truck, multi million dollar plumbing businesses and all that. Mm -hmm. And they're now coaching mm -hmm. others. Right. Well, how they're able to coach is not only just look what to do is not not the hard thing. It's, it's surviving the day to day exactly of all the crap, mm -hmm. you know, not the literal crap. <laughs> all right. And then just the, mm -hmm. you know, the other crap that comes down the road. Right. Okay. That and, you don't and, even see coming sometimes. Right. And you just gotta, mm -hmm. you just gotta keep moving forward. Yep. We call it falling forward. You falling forward. Fall forward, fall mm -hmm. forward, you know, and that was definitely a fall forward day. <laughs> <laughs> well, all those were um, very humbling stories um, and fun 400th episode, yes. I think to kind of look back at, at some of our, our plumbing business stories. We got a million of them. Hopefully I didn't embarrass you too much, sweetheart. No, I, are, nope, they, those are all fine. So I, there was a couple here I was worried if you were going to bring up that I would not have wanted you to bring up. Oh, but, those. Um, yes. Yeah, so anyway, great episode. Great 400th episode. Congratulations on 400 Potty Talks. Yeah. used to be called Potty Talk Live because, gosh, until episode maybe three or 200 and something, yeah. they were all live on, on Facebook, but now they're regular potty talk so yep. anyway and thank you guys for being a part of potty talk for so long so you, you guys been long time listeners really do appreciate Glad it you're here yep all right mm -hmm. hey and also yes um you know if, if you're looking <laughs> i don't know if you want to take take some of the stuff now you may want to learn from my experience okay <laughs> I, I can help with that <laughs> don't okay. run for political office don't that's run, number one right. okay we have a, a free strategy call <laughs> So if you are thinking about running for office, we can we can tell you what what not to do. Probably don't run. Yeah, we okay. we only have known what not to do okay. from, from that standpoint. All right, but, but I'd like to help you. Okay, schedule your free strategy call. Go to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash call. All right, and we'll go from there. Just have okay. a conversation. Yep, baby. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. Okay. All right. Four hundred and four hundred in the can. Money in the bank. Money in the bank. All right. <laughs> hey, before we let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created. And you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.